Hey guys, I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario All-Stars. Uh, we just beat Mario 1, released in 1985. Now we're moving on to Mario 2, but not the one that most people know. We're moving on to the Japanese version of Mario 2, um, which in America was called The Lost Levels. It was never released in the States uh, until 1993 when, when Super Mario All-Stars came out. Anyways, let's just jump in there. Let's uh, erase this file up here. And in Japan, Mario 2 was actually kind of like a direct sequel to Mario 1. It was kind of an expansion pack. Uh, a bunch of new levels, same kind of physics and that kind of thing. As you can see, it looks exactly like uh, Mario 1 for the All-Stars version. A couple differences, though. First of all, I love that music. It's really nice. All right, let's jump in here. Oh, whoops. You know what? I'm going to jump back out. There's a reason for that. Because one of the big differences with Mario All-Stars is... Uh, sorry, not Mario All-Stars. Mario, uh, Japanese Mario 2 is that there's no two-player mode. Instead, you either choose Mario or you choose Luigi. I'm going to choose Luigi this time. Mario plays exactly like Mario did in Mario 1. Luigi, however, jumps higher and has a harder time stopping. So it's kind of like the hard mode, but I do like playing with Luigi, so I'm going to do that instead. Uh, a couple things we can do right here. Fuck. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, we'll just wait for that, because I do need it. Come back here. There we go. There's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, by the way. Might not seem it, but... Okay. Might not be able to do this the way I usually do, though. Just because I, I went too far. Ah, crap. Oh, well. Probably gonna have to get hit here. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Oh, nice. Okay. Now just jump. There we go. So, um, Mario 2, Japanese Mario 2, Mario Lost Levels, is an extraordinarily difficult game. I mean, it's very difficult. Mishka, get away from the mic. Uh, it's very, very hard. So I'm stocking up on lives. I'll be here for a little bit uh, until we get a whole whack of lives. So I'll see you guys in a second. And there we go. So I just stayed there until my time ran out. And now we have... 127 lives. Whole whack of lives. So let's continue on actually play the game now. Get that super mushroom. There we go. So one of the biggest differences from this game is the poison mushroom. And they obviously will kill you. Uh, they'll shrink you if you're big, and they will kill you if you're small. Um, and that's something that's only in this uh, in this game. It's, it's not like in any other Mario game that I can think of. And it's, uh, it's crazy because, like... There, in this version, it's purple, and you can kind of see that it's, it's quite honestly, it's poisonous, you know? In the original version in Japan, it doesn't look poisonous. It's just kind of slightly purplish, but it looks exactly like a regular mushroom, so... It's kind of a big jerk, you know, dick move there on Nintendo's part, but... Uh, one of the reasons why this game never came out in North America when it first came out was... Obviously because it was too difficult, but... Uh, I forget who said it, but there was an interview with... Uh, Probably Howard Phillips or someone some someone from, from Nintendo, obviously, saying that the game just didn't feel like something Shigeru Miyamoto would make. It felt mean-spirited and and just too difficult for the sake of being difficult. And it, it was just a really weird game at the time. I can't really get that, but I guess it doesn't matter. I'm already fire Luigi. Um, yeah, so the game never came out at first, but I, I am glad it finally came out. So the first warp zone is up here somewhere isn't it oh maybe not no there it is uh i don't know where it leads to i'm not gonna take it so it doesn't matter probably just like world damn world like two or three maybe even four uh but i'm not taking any warp zones we are going the whole way and this game is longer than mario uh one not just because of its difficulty but there are more stages uh so this will take a while longer but i've already had my first death on just world one two and like I said before, the game is pretty difficult, so you'll have to bear with me. There will be quite a few deaths in this in this game compared to the other Marios. Right here. Come on. There we go. Just be super careful. Luigi is a lot harder to control, basically. Um, I'm just giving myself the extra challenge. I have no idea why this game's already really hard. You can skip more levels if you go up here. Or there's another warp zone. Uh, actually, there's two warp zones. One if you keep going, uh, and then there's a pipe right before the warp zone, which leads to another warp zone. So, 
A lot of warp zones right for the first level, or first, uh, second level, sorry. And uh, another crazy part about this game, and you won't see it because uh, I won't be going to warp zones, is um, that there are backwards warp zones in this game, which is really, really different. Um, I forget what world, I think it was world 5, maybe world 4, where you can get a warp zone that leads you back to the very first level, and it's like, that's insane. And if you find it, you can't go back, because it's, it's just like Mario 1, you can't move the screen back to the left. So you either have to take it, or you have to wait for your time to run out. Obviously, taking or, uh, making your time run out is the best solution, because you really don't want to go all the way at the beginning, unless you're, I don't know, trying to maximize your score or something, I have no idea. But yeah. You can already tell, I mean, World 1-3, so much more difficult than uh, Mario 1's World 1-3. You're going to see some crazy stuff in this game, too. So with Luigi's height, he can actually jump over the flagpole. Um, technically, Mario can do it, too, depending on the levels uh, in the first game, but in this one, it's actually not that difficult for Luigi to do it. Um, and you can kind of keep going, like, past, past the... Uh, the castle and the flagpole and stuff, but if you do, you'll just, you'll die. This, this, it continues on forever and nothing happens. There is, however, I think at least one um, situation where you can go over the flagpole and you'll actually, um, you'll actually gain, get to another warp zone. When I, I thought that was pretty cool that that's where they'd hide one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was good. Firepower definitely makes Bowser easier. There we go. Haha. -ha. So that was World 1, and that's already kind of like... I don't know. I would say the equivalent of World, like, 4, maybe even 5 from the first one. Like, that's how difficult this game has already gotten. Uh, and there's a lot more worlds to go. World 2 is the one with the um, night sky. And I've never played the original version um, on the Famicom. Uh, I don't... Oh, dang it. I don't have the Japanese cartridge for this, which is uh, why it's not in the little intro at the beginning of, of uh, this series. Uh, but anyways, because I've never played the original one, I'm not actually sure if this level is like a starry kind of sky in the original like like it was in Mario 1. But I I'm going to go ahead and guess that they they did make it the same. Let's go down here. Let's, uh, let's see what's down here. I actually forget. Oh, I'm like super scared. There we go. Probably just a, yeah, just a bonus level. Not super important with coins and who cares. Ah, uh, just keep going. I do like how when you play as Luigi, you get Luigi's face instead of Mario's face there. It's kind of cool. Um, despite the water being there, you can't swim in it. Mario 1 was different in the fact that while there was swimming... Oh, this is a super... Yeah, super spring. Gotta love this. Um, in, in, in Mario 1 and this, while you can swim... You'll notice that in the levels that you can swim, you can never jump out of the water. Uh, because that the levels that have the, the, the water, the swimming stuff, loads the swimming physics, but not the uh, not the walking physics. And levels where you walk have the walking physics and not the swimming physics. And there's no physics that... that there's nothing that changes the physics so that if you jump in water, it changes to, to swimming. You know what I mean? So that, did, that won't happen until Mario 3. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, I think I'm at the end anyways. Oh, jeez. Woo! Oh, whoops. Oh, good. It doesn't keep going. They probably, like, assumed that a lot of people would do that with Luigi, so they probably made it so that it would end there. But I know that in Mario 1, uh, you can kind of keep going. And there is at least one place in this one where you can keep going, which is, again, really, really cool. Oh, dang it. I'm going to be going a lot slower in this game, too, than uh, in Mario 1. I don't know the levels nearly as much in this game. Not enough to, like, plow through it. Maybe a level or two here or there, but not really. Because if I go too fast, I will die. Thankfully, I, I like having Luigi just because his height, er, the, the height in his jump makes such a difference. Uh, a lot of people don't like him because he takes so long for him to slow down. And I agree, that is uh, a little annoying at times. But I'd, frig, I'd rather have the high jumping ability. So, I don't really mind that much. All the way at the beginning, great. Thankfully, just like in Mario 1, in most Mario games, the levels aren't super long. Um, so I, I don't think I'll have to do a lot of fast-forwarding like I did with, like, Wario Land. 
Because I found Wario Land, the stages were not super long, but Wario was just slow. And not a lot was going on, so I, I don't think I'll have to do that here too many times. Unless I, I die a... Oh, I'm not trying that. Unless I die a bunch of times and you just kind of don't want to see me do the same level 30, 40 times. Then I understand. Oh, yes. Good, good. Much rather be big. Oh, geez, there we go. Oof. Some crazy jumps in this level already. Oh, this is the end up here. There we go. Woo! And Luigi just makes it easier to get points in the flagpole, so that's always fun. Not that it really matters. Oh, there is a new thing, too, at the flagpole that wasn't in Mario 1. Again, I don't know how to activate it. It's something like having your coins be um, a multiple of 11, like mine is right now, but also having the time, the, the, the single digit, um, the ones digit and the time thing being the same. And if that happens, you can get a one-up, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm going to see if I can keep my my coins at 55. That way I can like kind of test that out. Because I'm just curious. Oh, darn it. No, I'm going to get a coin. Oh, well. Maybe it'll happen once during the Let's Play. Oh, jeez. During this uh, Let's let's Play or playthrough or whatever you want to call it. Oh, my goodness. Oof. That was at least a short level. <laughs> um, now, my sister... My sister is not really much of a game player, but when we were kids, we did play games together. Um, specifically, like, you know, Mario and that kind of thing. Um, and when we were still, like, growing up and living together, I think she was, like, 16 or 17 at the time. Um, she randomly just picked up Mario All-Stars, and she was able to beat Mario 1. She always was able to beat Mario 1 without too, too much trouble. She's not amazing, but, I mean, considering she doesn't play a lot of games, she's pretty good. Uh, anyways, so she wanted to see if she could beat Mario All Star. Sorry, uh, Lost Level, uh, because the game is just insanely difficult, and it took her a while. And she didn't actually end up beating it completely, but she did get past World Eight Four um, and got to like the last few worlds. And I'm super proud of her for that, uh, because I remember how angry she used to get. She's she's easy to to get frustrated with this type of stuff, so that was always a. Uh, it was nice to see that she was able to get so, so damn far. And that's a lot farther than most people get, in my opinion. Because that game gets so incredibly difficult. So, uh, by that point, where she was at. So, you know, good on you, Carolyn, who is my sister's name. And, woo! Yeah, because I definitely think this is the hardest Mario game out there. Uh, a lot of the newer Mario games have had, like, really difficult, like, final levels. Like, like that extra level if you get everything and it's, like, super, super difficult. But that's that's a bonus thing, in my opinion. I mean, it's it's like an extra world. It's it's a reward, if anything else. Um, this, though, the whole game is friggin' difficult. I think the, the game that comes the closest to this difficulty is probably Mario Sunshine, at least for me. And that's if you get 120 shines. And, yeah, I can just go over if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. There we go. Because I think that might be one of the warp zones. I'm not sure. I don't want to test it out. I don't want to stand there and, you know, get, you know, time over just so I can start the level over again. Now, the first underwater stage. Uh, there are, I think, many more underwater stages in this game than there are in the first Mario game. Um, actually, I know that one of the worlds has three of them, believe it or not. Which is still crazy. Um, out, out of the four levels in a single world, three of them being underwater. Ah, dang it. Crap. Crap. Ugh, stupid currents. Ah, holy crap. Yeah, there we go. Um, damn it. There we go. It's not the cheap cheeps I'm worried about, it's the bloopers. Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> Friggin' currents. Okay, maybe I'm a little worried about the bloopers. Whatever. I 
I wonder, like, I've actually never tried this out, but I wonder if Luigi's swimming physics is different than Mario's swimming physics. The way they're running... Oh, ah, what the hell happened there? The way they're running uh, physics are different. I don't think they are. Maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe Luigi turns less. I don't know. Whatever. It's done with. Aw, oh, dang it. Poop. Oh, well. So it feels like we're going pretty fast. I mean, we're already on World 3-3. Three, three. That progress will slow down very soon. I forget how soon, but soon enough. Woo! One extra one up. Not that we really need it at this point, because I have so many lives. And thankfully, um, Mario All-Stars does save your lives. Um, one of the cool things about Mario, uh, this version too... Um, obviously, Mario All-Star saves your progress, which is just something that's just nifty to have. Oh, damn it. Oh. In, uh, in general. But, uh, in Mario's 1... Oh. In, uh, Mario's 1, American 2, and, uh, 3, when you save your game on the All-Star's cartridge... There we go. It saves it at the beginning of whatever world you're currently on. So, let's say if I was at... Like, if I save now in Mario 1 at World 3-4, or World 3-3, or World 3-4... I would start back at 3-1. That kind of thing. Mario All-Stars, however... Or, sorry. Bleh, Lost Levels, however, saves you at the level you're currently on. So if I save here right now, I'll continue here. Dang it. So this is another maze level like they had in Mario 1. Let's try to figure this out. Anyways, I think that's cool because that really helps with uh, how difficult the game is. So I do like how every level you make, uh, that you finish, makes a difference, you know? Uh, yeah, I did not go the right way. Which resets me back one, so I have to go back down here. And... Let's try going up. No, okay, so I guess I should stay down. Okay, there we go. And then here, stay up. I remember that one. And then... Um... Maybe continue up? There we go. Good. Okay. Stay up again. Oh, damn it. There we go. I think that was it. Was it? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Yeah. Woo! All right. So that's the first three worlds. I think we'll call it uh, a day right now because, you know... It's the start of a brand new world next uh, next episode. That's pretty cool. So, I'm Film the Blanks. I'll see you guys next time on Super Mario All-Stars The Lost Levels. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games. See ya.